Yeah, I am Gulbir Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Bengal College of Engineering Technology, West Bengal, Durgapur. And I am presenting a paper on using NS2 simulator comparison of geographical and topological multicasting routing protocols on wireless ad hoc networks. Basically, the need of ad hoc network arises when we when the nodes are mo become mobile. So we just uh, introduce the concept of ad hoc networks so that on the mobile networks uh, we can use uh, we can do routing. So these type these two routing protocols basically works in multicasting environment. And uh, many of our listeners are from um, another department, so I want to introduce what is multicasting. Basically, in computer networks, routing <coughs> is done in three types: basically unicasting, multicasting, and broadcasting. So what is unicasting? Unicasting is the when we have one sender and one receiver, both can interact with a single one, with each other. And the second one is the multicasting, where we have a one sender and a group of receiver. So we can use, we can, uh, in that we can <coughs> do uh, data communication with each other. And the third one is what is broadcasting, it means we have a one, one sender, and uh, and the all are the receiver. So there is no bar on the receiver. So the the example of broadcast are where we are watching uh, <coughs> watching cricket online. So that we are focusing. There is one sender channel and there are many receivers. So we are focusing on the first introduction of my paper, the abstract the performance evaluation of geographical and topological multicasting routing protocols algorithm uh, for cellular Wi-Fi ad hoc networks. So these these two protocols are basically a type of uh, online on-demand multicast routing protocols. What is what it, it mean? Means these two protocol generate data, sorry, transfer data only when it is uh, demanded by the sender or user. Uh, meanwhile, rest they become uh, paused so that the efficiency of the network become reliable. So continuing on my introduction, what is on-demand? multiple multicast routing protocol it is so it is basically the uh, the protocol is uh, used when uh, for multicasting routing when we need to transfer data uh, data or something data or some information with that, within that network and where the communication is uh, done when uh, when a receiver want to send so when a, when a receiver want to send when a sender want to send data to communication then the uh, in that time then uh, that the <coughs> routing table is maintained so that uh, the benefit of these on demand routing protocols are that the load the payload of the network become uh, minimum so the, if the payload is become then in no congestion minimum congestion is arrived in the networks So while continuing with my presentation, what is topological multicast route, routing protocols? These are a type of uh, protocols uh, in multicasting where where the nodes in the net, where the nodes in the network are in the omnidirectional environment. Omni means they are continuous moving, and it is difficult to track and transfer data uh, in, uh, through uh, to them. So uh, the transform the transformation of data is started each and every node broadcast uh, uh, broadcast a flooding message to each and another node in the network so that they can so that they can uh, so that they, that they can interact with each other which node is uh, available and which node is down so that the transformation become reliable and the another protocol is geographical multicast routing protocol what it is it is uh, similar type, similar to similar to our uh, topological but uh, there is a minor difference what is uh, rather than flooding rather than sending a flooding message it send a beacon message what is beacon message a uh, flooding me message sent before the transformation a beacon beacon message is sent uh, after uh, after a short interval of the continuous time so that the uh, every node can know the neighbor of neighbor node of each other. So that if another node is down or is uh, out of uh, uh, offline, so that the near nearby node uh, can be known of that. 
now the uh, now the uh, um, criteria for the simulation are uh, the I have, I, have men I have done this in the three ways of criteria one is end to end delay for so, uh, Tomuru means uh, topological multicast routing protocol and Jimuru means uh, geographical multicast routing protocol and the packet delivering ratio and the overhead of that network what is end to end delay end to end delay means uh, when the packet or data packet is dispatched from that inter and before uh, receive uh, and the time of receiving or uh, to the receiver then the delay is uh, then the time shortage is uh, so then the delay is counted then is the delay is known as the end to end delay means from sending up till the receiving the time lapse is known as end to end delay and what is packet uh, packet delivery means the amount of the and the quantity of packet delivered per uh, per unit of time for that uh, transmission what is overhead overhead means uh, for every multi routing protocol the overhead is known as for maintaining the uh, mobile node and the maintaining the route uh, each and every routing protocol maintain a overhead packet uh, which uh, can be which can be transmitted to to that same uh, bandwidth of that protocol so uh, if uh, if any protocol have less overhead then the and then the probability of becoming successful protocol successful transmission is increasing so that for a successful uh, uh, routing protocol it must be recommended that it should have a, a less overhead now i have the performance evolution criteria about the parameter table what i having i mean simulation area is uh, i am using the metro simulator version 2.0 and you want to version of 10.04 and the parameter criteria the simulation area is uh, uh, 1200 and 1200 meter and the number of nodes i am using here number of nodes is 150 nodes in that uh, 1200 1200 area region and the movement node is the uh, the random waypoint model or the omni directional movement is used here and the channel capacity will be 11 mbps per second and maximum speed is maximum speed is the 10 0, 5 and per second and the pause time will be one second and the mac uh, protocol will be IEEE 8.0 2.11 now i am showing you the simulation result i have get from the letter simulator to uh, uh, first uh, you can see the two figures why we are showing end to end delay of the uh, first one is of uh, tomoro and the second is of the uh, jimoru the first one uh, these two look like very similar because that they are starting from we can see the three points from the starting there the the graph is repeatedly degrading towards uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, towards the saturation point and the, the first way we can see in the jemuro the, the, there is a repeatable uh, hike in that so we can uh, we can conclude that uh, jemuro in the in the way of end to end delay is become uh, so much efficient in the comparison of tomuro and uh, in if in the term of uh, packet delivery ratio we can say that these two are looking quite similar in the terms of packet delivery ratio and the another one is remaining what is the the overhead of the overhead of tomuru and the overhead of jimuru uh, the overhead is also the uh, overhead uh, is quite similar but there is a difference what is it in the end of the uh, when we increase the load that means when i increase the number of nodes the efficiency of tomuru will uh, become constant but the efficiency of the Jimuro will rapidly increase as we can see from this graph. So we can conclude that the Jimuro uh, adopt routing protocol is become, will, uh, will be more efficient when we increases the load, but the uh, load means we can increase the number of, uh, number of nodes. And uh, if the number of no nodes uh, in the network is minimum, then the Jimuro routing protocol be uh, become more efficient. And when the number of nodes have become high or maximum, then Jibro protocol will become more efficient. So here are the my references that I said earlier. Uh, sorry, conclusion and here are the references. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gulbir. Yeah, hello. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, anybody no? having question? Yes. If anybody has a question, please uh, raise the hand. Hello. Uh, I, I want to ask a question. Okay. I have a very long time because of programming, but it is a question. Sir, uh, basically, I have done uh, this in a network simulator version 2 in Linux. 
very uh, we can do uh, both matlab and uh, in our matlab simulator but basically if